Kyan, hold my hand. Come on, let's go. We're gonna put baby sister in the car. Come on, hold my hand. You need a car seat. This is the first time they're sitting in the same car together. Yeah. No, no bad guy. No bad guy. He was talking to that guy. Which? Your key. He's like, stay away from my sister. Kyan, are you gonna protect your sister? <laughs> protect the sister. How you doing, girl? Gucci. Keep an eye on her, okay? Doody, doody. Doody, doody. Bye, Doody. Bye, Doody. Hello, vlog. Good morning or afternoon. We are on our way to baby Ariella's first doctor's appointment, her newborn doctor's appointment. Hi! Oh. Daddy. What? Daddy. Yep. What? Um, I was wearing glasses because my under eye bags are so bad. Well, I have under eye bags, but my eyes are also like so Mama. swollen. Yes, bub. Wow, pretty cool. Thank you, baby. Um, so I'm wearing the glasses to cover them because I didn't want to put makeup on because you have to put a mask on when you go into the appointment. But we're gonna get her checkup done. I don't know, are we all gonna go inside or just? I guess we're all gonna try to go inside. Kylan knows that it's for his baby sister and not for him, so he's not scared. But we will see how it goes. Hopefully everything is, oh, good. Everything went great with the checkup. The doctor came and checked up on everything, like weight. She didn't lose a lot of weight, which is a good thing. She said we're doing an amazing job. We're gonna come back in a week to get another checkup to make sure she's gaining the right amount of weight. And check their length and all that stuff like that. Basically getting her name in the system for a regular checkup. He's just chilling. I'm sure every baby's like this. They completely hate it when you take off their diaper and they're just bare naked. But she's also hungry, that's why. When we were in the lobby waiting, there was like two other moms in there, just by themselves. They didn't have a kid, which was weird. But Kylan was growling at them. He was like, roar, roar. And he was like, stay back. And he was like make, making sure they stayed back from Ari. I thought it was, we, Eric and I just looked at each other like, what the heck? <laughs> He's just growling like a T-Rex at these grown women. They were kind of rude though, the ladies. Which ones? The ones in the lobby. I was like, sorry about that. He's just being an overprotective, like, big brother. Yeah. And I saw one of the ladies just like... Like, okay, control like a, your dog. Yeah, she's like, control your beast. It was cute though, Kylan. Good job. You're, you're a big, you're a good big brother. Okay. You guys, we just got back from Ariella's doctor's appointment. And Kylan had to skip his nap, so now he's asleep. They're both asleep. The babies are both sleeping. There's Kylan. And then there's baby sister. Nap time. 
Someone's milk drunk. <laughs> Someone's booby drunk. She'll do it again. Hey, oh. Making some dinner right now, but Kyle's playing with this little chest with the magnetic sand or whatever. Whatever you call it. He He's obsessed with this thing. It's actually funny because this is a gift from Christy and I got him the same gift. Us not knowing we got the same gift and I had to exchange it at Target. And we happened to be at Target at the same exact time. Yes? You found all the gold? It's pretty cool though. He's really into those things that like have like the eggs and like little monsters come out. Like this is one of them. Had like little... It was pretty messy. It was like gooey stuff. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, like this. This is the egg it came in. And you like squeeze it. He really enjoyed that. But he, I think he likes this a lot more. But it was probably not a good idea because it's a mess. It gets messy everywhere. But as long as he's happy, I guess. And then I I got him... So I went to Target yesterday. Yes, baby. There should be four jewels. There should be four of these. Should be four of those and then a quarter. I put a quarter in there. One, two. Yes, you can find it. You have to look better. You have to dig through there. You can find it. Just just do this. So I went to Target yesterday, returned that, the same one, and I got something different. Oh, there you go. Look, it's right there. It's right there. There you go. There should be a quarter, too. Look. Yep, you found it. Good job. I exchanged it for this little fishy that moves by itself when you put it in water. So uh, we use it for bath time and he, let me tell you, he is going crazy for that thing. Like he will not let go of it. Like he threw this whole tantrum last night, just about it, the F-I-S-H, you know? I don't want to say it because I don't want to trigger that memory again. But I got him this F-I-S-H pole two for the bath and it's like magnetic it's pretty cool it's all from target i'll probably link it in our amazon storefront erica's taking care of ariella in the room right now i think she's folding some clothes with her and then i'm making dinner i'm making lechon if you guys know what that is it's a, like pork belly uh boiled up in water and then air fried it's it's pretty messy i, I cleaned the stove top already but uh this part it's gonna be popping off quite a bit but it's worth it and here's the final version of the lechon. Give it a little crust. Crust test. Oh. Oh yeah. Now give that crunch test with your mouth. Oh. Dang, okay. Hello everyone. I don't know how long it's been since I vlogged, like picked up the camera. But I'm six weeks postpartum today. And I wanted to give a quick little update because my face like still looks swollen and I have like bags under my eyes. So just excuse that because I've also been crying I think on a daily basis. I cry about something. Um, so that's one issue. Another thing is my milk came in uh, maybe like three days postpartum. And I have a clogged duct now on my left side. I have a clogged duct and it sucks. It absolutely sucks because before when I would have a clogged duct, I would do like pumping to get it out. But this time around, I don't want to pump at all. Like at all, at all. I do not want to pump. I don't want to mess with my flow i just want the baby to naturally set up my flow pattern for milk if you know what i mean so i don't want to pump but it hurts so bad and i saw on tiktok that apparently the guidelines for how to deal with a clogged duct have has changed before i would say like apply heat and massage and da, da 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 and now it says to apply cold compresses and not to overly massage so i'm like i don't even know what to do because how can you just change it to the opposite thing all of a sudden i'm confused the one thing that i for sure know works though 
is sunflower lethicin, 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 which I took last time I had a clogged duct, but I just haven't gone to the store to get it yet. So I'm just over here suffering. Um, a little bit of milk still comes out, but it's like rock solid on this side. And I think it's because she goes through really long stretches at night of sleeping. Like she'll sleep three hours at a time, which is an amazing, it's amazing. Like God bless her soul. Like she is a real one for that, but it messes with my boobies because during the day she eats like every hour 45 minutes and at night she wants to do every three hours so my boobies are like ow and then also i think it's because my bra was too tight maybe um i still haven't figured out my bra size yet for like a nursing bra so yeah but on the good side i am producing a good amount of milk and like I said, I'm not pumping, I'm just collecting either with a milk collector or the haka, just like I don't like really use it as like the pump that it claims to be. So, breastfeeding is going well. I'm currently drinking this oat and quinoa drink that my mommy made me and apples. It's oats, quinoa and apples and some sugar because you need to consume a good amount of sugar as well while you breastfeed. Um, and I think this is why I produce such a good amount of milk. So I'm about to have that. I'm making Kyan a little snack. I did make him some goldfish. Well, not make him, but like prepare some goldfish and raisins. And he hated them. He hated the raisins. He just picked around the raisins and ate the goldfish. And I remember when I was a kid, I would always eat the goldfish and the raisin together. Like this. Because it's sweet and salty. And yummy. I haven't had a full day by myself with the kids yet, but when I do, I will be vlogging it because how fun does that sound? Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, she's demolishing your finger. I know. Owie. You're nice and clean. Her umbilical cord is already coming off. It's super early. Like sewage. Yeah. Maybe it's just your breath kicking back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Kyle was supposed to help, but he's just getting <laughs> wet. Kyle, you're supposed to help clean baby sister, I thought. Why? Because she's dirty. She's dirty. She's, she's stinky. stinky. Go help. Help clean baby sister. You know help? Baby sister. Help clean her. It's the only way you can distract her. Oh, your phone! As long as you take it out quick, it's fine. Oh, Where's the rice? Dada! I don't need it. Dada! Yes, yes look, baby. But she's swimming. Yes, the fish is swimming. Look at all of your little... Oh! Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. Kyan's obsessed with this fish I got him. It swims on its own when it goes in water. But that's oh, my that's okay, you probably can't use that water anymore. It is Valentine's Day, and today is Erica's day to rest, not cook dinner. And it's Ariella's first Valentine's Day. Look what she's wearing. Red heart. So cute. Got these flowers for them as well. I mean, yeah. Kylan got them flowers. Give them to Mama and your baby sister, please. We can share. We can share. <laughs> Is that yours? Say, Mine. can you say, be my valentine? Yours. Can you say, be my valentine? Yes. Okay. Girl, wake up. That doesn't cook dinner. For dinner, we are eating steak, lobster, with some organic baby broccolette, and a mash, garlic and herb mash. I'll show you guys the end result of it right here. Here's the finished product. It's dark right now, but that's because we have a candle lit for the V-Day. Addition, you know, rate it. What do you rate it? 10 out of 10 on the presentation. Mm hmm. 20 out of 10 on the food. Got the mash at the bottom, and then the broccolette, the steak, and then, of course, the lobster on top. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna wrap it up for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Ariella is just chilling in my arms right now. She did not want me to put her down. I feel like she's gonna be a daddy's girl for sure. 
Thank you guys for watching. Hope everyone had a chill Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, her pinky fell. But if you guys can, like the video and share. And until the next video. Oh, here, I got you. You want your bone? Until the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye.